Slatted wooden barns are a unique feature of the Snowy River floodplain at Orbost. They have a distinctive style and a weathered, airy beauty. This three-storey Morgan barn just near Orbost has walls, floors and doors, all made from thin wooden slats cut from local hardwood. Croft's barn was built in the 1890s. It used to be much bigger, but even today its size is impressive. This is how it used to look in 1905. It was 495 feet long, that's 151 metres, and held 10,000 bags of maize. Stables and tack rooms for draft horses were often attached to the barns. This is a blacksmith's shop at the Crofts Barn. The Johnson Barn is wonderfully intact. Notice the pulley beams which were used for loading bags of maize cobs into the top loft. A bag of maize was hooked onto this bag hook which was then attached to a rope threaded through a pulley. A well-trained horse would pull away and up went the bag. A man in the top loft pulled in the bags of maize cobs through the door and emptied them onto the slatted floor to a depth of about a metre. Here the crop was stored and dried. The fertile snowy river flats at Orbost produced huge crops of maize. This was some of the richest maize growing land in Australia. This is the tool that the pickers used to take the outside leaves off the maize cobs. A hard worker could pick up to 50 bags of maize a day. Their hands became very tough. Here is a maize threshing team working flat out, accompanied by a steam engine to power the thresher. An elevator brings maize cobs from the barn to the thresher, and another elevator dumps the empty cobs into a pile. In the front, are bags of maize seed, all neatly sewn, and a large square bale of jute bags. A bag needle and a palm thimble. An old maize thresher. And the names of workers and their tallies marked onto walls. Bits of wallpaper from where a barn was decorated for a dance. So what happened to most of the old barns? Some were demolished by huge floods. Others, like this one, collapsed on still nights when they were full of maize. Some just fell down with old age. Some were modified for new uses. This happened with the Crofts barn. It was later used for the processing of culinary beans. The western side of the barn was clad over with reused galvanised iron for weather protection. The old wooden slats are still there. This amazing photo from possibly the 1950s shows a slatted barn being shifted down the main street of Orbost. Notice the man sitting on the top. Drive from Orbost to Marlow and you will see the Morgan Barn. It's one of the slatted barns of the Snowy River at Orbost. For those who want to learn more, I recommend that you read a book titled Barns of the Snowy River. This presents photos, scale drawings, research, interviews and stories. Choose another story about the history of Orboston District by pressing a numbered button.